The next thing we're going to have to do is to add in voice recognition so that you can recognize our voice and translate the voice into a test here. Another one, we'll put in another button which translates our voice into Spanish directly. Okay. So first you put in a button and put in another button. Okay, the first button we change the name into top button. Okay. And then we change the test into top. Second thing, we change the button into instant button. Okay, and then change the test to instant transcript. Okay, so as you can see here. Our user interface, and we need to add in another thing, which we call it as speech recognizer. Okay, so first thing first, we put in when top button. Okay, what will happen? So, when top button, okay, we call the speech recognizer to get the deaths. We to recognize our voice. After a speed recognizer, you get the text. What should you do? You should select our text box or text. We do the result. So at here, you instantly get the result from the, the voice you translate. Okay, you can try it now. Okay, but you want to make it more advanced, so we go to here and we add in. Then this is it, one more. And speak recognize the one more. Okay, so we want to make it our instant button to translate the word directly. So when the instant button K. Okay, what will happen? So you will call the ins the speed recognizer to to get the text. Okay. After that, when the speed recognizer to after you get in the text, what should you do? You will set the text box text into Get this up. You can directly copy from here. We are the same. Okay. Okay, okay. what's the difference is you add on one word. So we don't want we don't need to wait in the translate button to click. You should away call the Yandex translate to translate it. To a test box. Okay, but no longer is in this transit one, is in this transit two. Okay, after that, when the in this transit, okay, when the in this transit get the test and put it into the test of test, okay, so we got the slash, got the transitions. From here, so what you should do is you will set the label test. You can see the thing is that it's really the same as the previous one. You can go, just copy and set the label one test to get translation, and then you should set the test to speech language to the SPA. It's just the same thing that we do before. But without any button to click, so the first button click everything when it goes. Okay, split the message. So now I can try it out. You instant translate the word. Okay.
Okay, we'll enjoy it. Okay, thank you very much.